Hey, hey to all of my snobbish mint girls, Mother Snob here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post the upload. In today's video, I'm going to be showing all of my beautiful babies how I got this beautiful, flawless, glueless install on one of my snobbish mink girls. And when I say glueless, I mean this install was installed with absolutely no glue. If you want to see how we got this look, then please be sure to keep on watching. start your install you want to make sure that your client is braided down my client has about six to seven braids straight back braids and you also want to have a nude stocking cap her stocking cap is a shade darker but it turned out perfect in the end so now she's just taking the wig and you want to put the elastic band on first so she just press it against her forehead she's putting on an elastic band and now you're just going to take the back of the wig and place that right under your elastic band because it has a comb in the back so you want to make sure your comb is tucked under your band and under your cap so now that you got the wig placed on you're just going to make sure that the sideburns are actually covering the actual sideburns and you don't want to pull the lace from the hair you just want to pull it from the actual lace and i'm pulling it where the band is so you just want to pull it from there You see how I'm not pulling the actual hair, I'm pulling the lace. That's what you want to do. And just cover over her sideburn perfectly so that's how you know it fits perfect. So now what I'm doing is I'm just finding out where her ear is and I'm going to part around her ear so that I can cut that lace from around her ear. You do cut the lace from around your ear. That's the key to a perfect install. So now I'm just taking my scissors and you see how I'm cutting down. I'm not cutting like straight across. I'm cutting under the sideburns and then around her ear because you need them sideburns. Like I love my sideburns. And now I'm just checking to see if it fit. And I'm actually going to cut some more of that lace off from around her ear because I need it to lay as flat as possible. And if you have too much lace around your ear, it's not going to lay flat. You see how I'm just checking to see if it lay? So now that I'm done that side, I'm going to move on to the other side. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. You want to part around your ear. Make sure you get those sideburns. Part under your sideburns. Making sure that you get your sideburns. I cannot stress that enough. So now that we got the ear tabs cut off, we're going to cut straight in the middle and I do a slit in the middle. I don't cut all the way up and you make sure you want to move your baby hair back so you don't cut them, but you want to cut right directly in front of your baby hair and you don't want to cut it straight across. You want to cut it in a wiggly motion, swiggly motion, however you really want to see it, but I'm going to show you right here. And I cut the slit so it can be easier and I'm not just lifting the wig up. You see how I'm not cutting straight across? I'm moving my hand like in a zigzag motion so my cut isn't straight across. When you have a straight across cut, it's way, way easier to identify where your lace is stopping and where you cut your lace at. And you don't want that. You want it to be melted and as seamless as possible. Bam! Do you 
see how melted that is you cannot see the lace like what lace so now I'm just going to finish cutting off the rest of the lace I always start from the center of my hair and then I work onto my sides because that's way easier for me and I'm sure it'll be easier for you and again make sure you cut right directly in front of that baby I mean not in front of the baby hair because not everybody want baby hair but right directly before the hairline and do not cut straight across like do not cut straight across Okay, now that I'm done cutting all the excess lace, you're going to see me just turn her hair from left to right, making sure that the sideburns lay over top of her actual sideburns. So now that we got everything done, we're actually going to lay this wig. Using got to be gel, I always use got to be gel, I swear by this, but if you don't want your baby hairs like stuck to your forehead because these will have your baby hairs stuck in your wig as well, you could just always use some mousse and lay your hair the same way. It'll always be the same. So I'm basically just putting, got to be, not a lot, I use a, the tiniest bit of got to be gel, the tiniest bit, and I just basically go over my baby hair and go over the hairline as well. Now right here, as you can see, her lace is still lifting up. And I'm just going to take my scissors and cut some more lace from around her ear. That's because it's lifting up because the lace isn't fully cut around her ear. It's still sticking up because it's too much lace around there. Now you can see that it's actually sticking and laying directly down onto her face and not lifting up like it was before I cut the excess lace. So that's just a tip. If your sideburns are lifting up and not sticking down like to your face, you have to cut more lace off from around your ear. It may make your ear uncomfortable and it may itch your ear if you have too much lace. That's how you know if you have too much lace still around your ear. When you order a glueless customized unit from me, the baby hair and the hairline will already come customized. Meaning it will already come plucked, it will already come laid, and it will already come molded. So, these baby hairs right here were already molded. She didn't have to do anything to create these baby hairs because I already created them. All I'm doing is actually laying them to her head. If you don't order a glueless customized unit, you will have to pluck and mold your own hairline. So when it comes to baby hair, you can see I don't just do swoop, swoop, swoop. I do swoop and then I make sure you got some hair like coming back and then you have another swoop. It's not just like swoops going all around the hairline because that looks very unnatural to me and I don't like it. So to be as natural as possible, make sure you don't have all of your hair swoop. You still have some hair going back towards the back like in the front before the part 
you have a swoop and then you have the hair going back and then in the middle you have another swoop. I hope that makes sense. My client is actually running 360 units, so I went ahead and cut the extra lace from the back as well. Now I'm just going to take my Snobbish Mint Girl Set and Edge Wrap and lay her baby hair down. This is going to give you that melted look. I swear by my edge wraps, once you lay the baby hair and you put that edge wrap on and let it sit on there for about 10 to 15 minutes, bomb.com. Just wait for it. Now I'm just going to take her hair and I have some conditioner and water in my spray bottle. And I'm just going to spray it down so we can get it all nice and wet and comb it out. for the reveal bam that lace is melted honey like you can't even see the lace is blending in so perfectly this is my brown swiss lace from my indian mink hair collection you can follow me on instagram at snobbish hair company i will have all of my information linked down below if you love this video you love this install you learned from this video and from this install please be sure to like comment and also subscribe to my channel and also Make sure you click on that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a video and you'll be part of the snob mob because we're a family here. This is a flawless, perfect install. I love it so much and I know you guys love it because we're the best. So thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it and please, please, please like, comment and subscribe.